All right, friends, it's time for a rave review, but first I need your help. I want you to go to ozarksfirst.com slash vote right now. See that QR code? Go to that QR code. I need your vote because guess what? Yesterday we had talked about movie sequels. So, you know, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is coming up. I want your opinion right now on which sequel you're most excited about. The rumored Devil Wears Prada sequel, the Freaky Friday sequel, which is coming up, uh, or Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, which uh, is in theaters like a month from now. So go right there. We need your vote. It'll be live, and we're going to get your results at the end of my rave review. I just want to know which what, when I'm tossed. I'm torn. Actually, I'm torn between two. But anyway, go vote right now. All right. Up first, guess what? Coming out Friday is a new show that we had the uh, pleasure of interviewing the host and the judges of this show. It's the Blue Ribbon Baking Championship on Netflix, hosted by our friend of show Jason Biggs and award-winning and Blue Ribbon Baker Sandra Lee. Now, if you love baking shows, a.k.a. The Great British Bake Off, you know that I love that show, uh, you're going to love this show. Amazing bakers, great flavor combinations, set at the fair, getting a blue ribbon, and guess what? Absolutely no drama between the contestants, which I love that. Take a look at the trailer. The Great American State Fair. The sights, the smells, the rides. But at the heart of these state fairs is the time-honored baking competition. Hometown pastry masters have had their sights set on the same singular prize, the elusive Blue Ribbon. We scoured the nation for the best Blue Ribbon winning bakers from state fairs across America. I am one of the best bakers that I know. My kids think so. In the baking world, ribbons are everything. I should just wear a shirt. It says, I have a lot of blue ribbons. They will go head to head to find America's best baker. Do I hear a yes, chef? Yes, yes chef. chef. Are you a chef? <laughs> <That's> a <laughs> Judging it all will be Sandra Lee. She is an Emmy winning chef <laughs> and a blue ribbon winner herself. This is going to be a very tough competition. Mm -hmm. Along with award winning artist and baker Brian oh. Ford and former White House pastry chef Bill Yossis. Oh, it's beauty. Oh. At stake, the coveted Best and Fair Ribbon. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and $100,000. And a runner, man. Do it We're talking cakes, pies, and anything else they can dream up. It is the perfect cake. It's literally making me cry. Who is going to make it? Your topping is perfection. May the best person win. It's such a fun show. It's an easy watch, and it will make you so hungry for sweets. It's not even funny. It is really cute, really fun, and just in time for fair season across the country. Uh, all eight episodes drop on Netflix this Friday, so check that out. And by the way, if you haven't voted, go to ozarksfirst.com slash vote right now. I want you to vote on your favorite sequel that's coming up. Okay, up next, guess what? Dance Moms, A New Era drops today on Hulu with a new dancing instructor heading the show and this amazing dance troupe. Coach Glow Hampton is taking charge and leading with love and respect. However, just because Abby Lee Miller is not on the show doesn't mean there's no drama because guess what? It's the mama drama. The dancers' moms always seem to find the drama in the show. Uh, let's take a look at the trailer. I'm the coach of the next big team. In six short weeks, we're going to nationals. We are in no way ready for that. I train hundreds of kids who now dance professionally. Oh. Let's get to work. It's a lot of pressure. You belong in this team. I'm known for like my sass and my face and my performance like this. My one and only goal is to win a national title. And it starts today. <laughs> You're okay. You're gonna live. Nobody's spot here is promised. Nobody. I have to prove myself to Miss Glow. Two, three. I need to keep her on track. No drama queen, okay? No drama queen. You are jealous. You are jealous. You are jealous. You win a party, then come play. I'm over it. Do you see these children? This is all I care about right now. You're all here because you want your kids to be stars. Tread lightly. Yeah. Get out of my way. Okay. You're done. Make everyone realize who the next big team is. Do you understand? Yes. yes. Let's go. By the way, Maddie brought up a good point. She does sound like Abby Lee. Yeah. Uh, guess what? I think Coach Glow is good and tough and fair. I mean, you got to be tough with the kids. Perfection doesn't come easy. The parents are crazy. The dancers are good, and they're so cute. And who might be the new breakout star of this new show, like Honey Boo Boo or Jojo Siwa? Uh, all 10 episodes are out on Hulu. 
today. So if you're into dancing and dance moms, check that out. Okay, I wanna do a quick retro rave review because the cult classic musical TV show Smash from the mid 2000s starring Deborah Messing, Angelica Houston, and Catherine McPhee has recently just dropped on Peacock ahead of the new Broadway inspired show set for Broadway in 2025. Now this show only ran for two seasons, but if you love musical theater, this show is for you. It has the most amazing music. I don't know how they did this show and what the budget was. It goes through the nuts and bolts of how hard it is to actually put on a Broadway show. So I wanna show you a quick little trailer that was released in 2012 ahead of Smash debuting. Take a look. Hey, where are you? Yeah, thanks. Uh, that's all we need. Behind every star. They kept me waiting for almost an hour, and then the director took a call in the middle of my audition. Is the story of how they got there. She has the experience. She has the talent. I think she's a star. But in the spotlight. I trained for this. There can only be one. I seriously just got goosebumps. I've been watching the show while I'm working on a project. I've been looking to stream the show for years and could not find it. They finally released it because guess what? The Broadway show's coming out in 2025. So I'm thinking about planning a trip to New York just to see the show because the music is outstanding. It is amazing. So check that out. It's streaming on Peacock and I'm almost finished with season two. I, I'll go back and rewatch it again. Okay, it's time for some little entertainment TV news. Guess what? Melissa Peterman posted just like yesterday Guess what? First day on set of Happy's Place coming this fall. All the cast is there. I think they were doing like the table read or rehearsing, but it's officially the first day uh, on the set. Also, guess what? The acclaimed Apple TV Plus show Shrinking. Shrinking is coming up. They've set a date. It will be returning with Jason Sig Is it Siegel or Segal? Segal, I don't know. And Harrison Ford. It's coming October 16th. Season one, critically acclaimed. I uh, got to see them at Critics' Choice last year, so hopefully season two is not a letdown. And this is kind of not TV news, but I just wanted to talk about it. anyway. Guess what? John M. Chu is set to direct the Britney Spears biopic. First of all, who are they going to pick to play Britney Spears? And I just can't wait to see what type of part of her life they're going to, you know, show in the movie. And then finally, the Squid Game season two. We love Squid Game one. Well, I didn't really watch that, but I love the reality show. The reality Squid Game, we met the winner. Oh my gosh, so good. But season two will be released on December 26th on Netflix. And then the third and final season will be released sometime in 2025. Okay, exciting if you love the Squid Games. Now let's check out our poll. We asked you to go vote. So let's take a look and you can still vote right now. It's not closed. We want to know which sequel you're most excited about. The Devil Wears Prada, Freaky Friday, which they're filming right now, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, which is coming out next month. So far, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is winning. Here's the thing, I'm torn between Devil Wears Prada because I recently, I always put that on in the background while I'm like doing stuff because I love the soundtrack. I like to quote it, but here's the thing, can it live up to the excellence of the first movie? Sometimes when you make a sequel, it's not as good and then it diminishes, you just wanna watch the original. So if the whole cast is back, I'm really excited about that. So far, 54% says Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I did see some behind the scenes video of Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan filming Freaky Friday, and they were wearing some crazy clothes. I'm like, what in the world are they wearing? What does this, how, I don't even know. Uh, so, so far, 20, only 20% 20 for the Devil Wears Prada. I'm kind of shocked, guys. Freaky Friday, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Okay, we're gonna close it out, and I think, you know what? In a month, you guys are gonna be excited because Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice is coming to theaters next month. That is the winner. I'm excited to, you're probably going to see Maddie and I there at the theater. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. So much more fun on Ozark's Fox AM coming up right after this.